Hey, welcome back. This week I'm finally going to get back to working with wood, or plywood. I'm going to build two different designs of shields. Let's get started. In order to maximize the yield of your plywood, I really recommend drawing out all the shapes before you cut any of them out. I can get two shields at this shape, up in this top piece of the plywood, and then a little bit further down I'll get some round ones. For the night shield, I'm going to use template routing, which means it needs to get cut out with a jigsaw or bandsaw. But for the round shields, which I think of as more of a Viking shield, I'm going to use the circle cutting jig on my router. So I need to lay it out with a pencil and a stick of wood. So I drilled two holes in it, which roughly represents the radius of the shield. And now I can make that layout. for where that shield will end up. Before I cut the shields out, I want to save this piece at the bottom. It's about 18 by 48 inches, so I'm sure I'll get use out of it in another project. Now I'm going to slowly cut out the top two shields with the jigsaw, keeping ideally just barely outside the pencil line. That'll leave less than a sixteenth of an inch to trim off with the template routing. I've already got the template attached to the cutout with some double sided tape, so now I can trim it up at the router table, and I've got my shop vac clamped on to collect some of the sawdust. Now that I have the shield trimmed up, I swapped out the bit for a round over so I can ease over the edges. Now I can start working on cutting out those circles. I've already got the router attached to the circle jig and I've screwed it down to the center of the first shield. For me the idea is to make this cut in three passes. Lower the bit, make a pass, lower the bit, make a pass, and then lower it one final time and free up the shield from this sheet of plywood. I already brought these shields back to the router table to ease over the edges, so now it's time to start talking about handles. Here's one I made out of solid wood, and I did that with template routing. Need to make another one, and I'm going to try making it out of plywood. The benefit is when you're doing template routing with plywood, the uphill routing that you need to avoid isn't as important because the grains go in a couple different directions. So. We're going to see how it goes. First, I need to cut it out at the bandsaw.
Alright, so here's one design done. The other way I like to put a handle on a shield is like this. It uses four semicircles, and then with one piece of rope, I'm able to thread it through there and make a, a custom fit handle for your forearm. It's pretty complicated, so I'm going to do some voiceover as you watch the clips on how to make those donuts. First, take a large hole saw, in this case two and a half inches, and drill most of the way until the center bit is punched through the other side. Now flipping the wood over, line up the center bit and drill down just enough to make a good indention. This will be important later. Swapping out for a smaller hole saw, maybe about an inch, drill out the inner circle from both sides. This erases the center, which is why that indention was necessary. Changing back to the larger hole saw, line it up in the shallow groove and finish drilling it out. The reason to drill from both sides is to reduce tear out. Once the shape is free from the piece of wood, take it to the router table to round over the edges, and then finally the table saw to cut it in half. These little half donuts don't require any screws to hold them in place. Just glue and clamps. And that's what these are actually. I tested out whether or not they needed screws before I, I made any. You certainly wouldn't want to sell something and then have it fall apart on your customer. Now I'll use this board to apply some clamping pressure. This handle, on the other hand, does need a screw in it. I tried it as a test to see if glue and clamps would be strong enough, but when I applied a little bit of sideways force, it just couldn't hold up. After I get this glued and clamped, I'm going to drive a, two screws in through the front, and I've already countersunk for those. It can be a little interesting providing clamping pressure on this handle, but I think this will do the trick and the screws from the front ought to help. So I think it's pretty easy to see how this handle works, but I thought you might be interested in this one. With a single piece of rope, I'm able to get three contact points, and if you pull them all tight, you get a really good fit. I think either one of these make a great companion for last week's foam swords, or even the wooden ones that I built several months back. Of course, if you really want the coolest toys in the neighborhood, <laughs> You can give it a custom paint job to be a knight in King Arthur's court, or maybe a gladiator fighting for your freedom. Or perhaps a Viking ready to pillage. However you do it, I hope you enjoyed these, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Have a great weekend, and as always, get out there and make some sawdust.